Okay. We are recording. Okay. YouTube won't let me live stream from the mobile app for whatever stupid reason. But, um, turns out they double bagged the frogs. And the instruction sheet that came with the frogs said to dump you know, the entire contents of this inner bag. And there's you know, a leak. Yeah, uh, and it's leaking. Um, frogs and all into the established aquarium. And I'm like, I don't know about that. But seeing as how I don't have another aquarium set up right now, well, not that I would put anything a li living in. <laughs> That's the experiment tank over there. Uh, babe, you're gonna have to get scissors and open this bag. I don't know where the scissors went. Well, go find them quickly, because they're running out of water. Mm, no. Well, for a second. I really wish people would leave our our tools alone, or at least ask. No. I was mm -hmm. trying to see if this is... Yeah, the orange scissors are not over here. I mean, I've got that. I don't even know how to say it. Capetzma, maybe? Um, and this little camera here lets me keep an eye on the fish from the other room. So... Uh, if you happen to be on my Discord and you want to see the feed from that camera, just... You know, just at Summerwolf and let me know. Are these... Uh... Nope. <laughs> Those garden shears are... Rusted. Oh, they were locked. But yeah, they're... They're rusted shut. So that's not an option. Here. Here, do you take... I really don't like the kitchen scissors being used for other stuff, but I guess we don't have a choice. If somebody hadn't walked off with the, the orange handle, you know, the everyday scissors... Well, you want to hold the camera while I open this, then? Don't cover the lens. Sorry. I wasn't trying to. And before anybody says, oh, that tank's too small, we know. I have a bigger tank, um, but it is not ready for live critters yet. So, it will just, we'll just have to put them in here and hope for the best. I fully expect to lose one maybe two of these frogs and I am not happy about that but you know what else can I do well come on get out of there all right so here's the five new frogs added to the tank and Sorry. Wifey here is not used to running a camera, so apologies for the uh, shaky cam there. Oh, and that bag just bounced off the trash can, so I'll have to grab that in a minute. Let's get the angle of the foggies. That's the. <laughs> That's why I said to move everything off the table, because <laughs> you can see it clearly through the tank. There's winded frogs. Um, this brings us up to a total of seven uh, African dwarf frogs. <coughs> Two of those, um, the store just calls them algae eater, but a couple of people have suggested they might be quarries. I'm not sure. Um, those green grape looking things are supposed to be glow in the dark pebbles, but they're they don't glow, so I gotta look into what's going on with those. 
There you there's go. one of my tetras. Oh, there's both of my tetra. Those are my neons, the two survivors out of the uh, batch. And the yellow ones you keep seeing fl flick back and forth are my uh, the yellow glowfish, which it, according to some of the research I've done are a variation of tetra. So, I mean, I guess it's <laughs> five tetras, just two different subspecies. Hanging out back there by the filter intake, that's George. And then the smaller one down there is Frankie. So, George. Hey, George, there's the oldest fish in this tank. Um, at just over, what, month old now? Yep. It's, well, he, we've had him a month. I don't know how old, how long he was in the, uh, the pet store before we got him. Uh, for anybody worried about the amount of aeration going on in here, there's one air stone, two air stone, plus the aeration from the hang on back filter. I am... I am definitely impressed with this Aquion filter, um, and you know, all of the Aquion products that we have bought so far have uh, continued to impress me. So, I think we're going to be sticking with Aquion from now on. Um, the uh, the new air pump is not Aquion. I'm not sure yet if it's going to work out for us but it came highly recommended for, by a friend, so I'm gonna give it a shot. When I set the 20 gallon up, uh, watch for a, an update. If you're going to feed them, get some of the frozen. Okay. Um, and make sure the frogs get it and not the fish, because the fish do not need f fed yet. These bubbles up here are from overfeeding. <laughs> Uh, according to several people that have kept tanks for a lot longer than I have. So, I guess she's going to go get some uh, frozen blood worms and we're going to feed the, the, the new frogs real quick. Uh, I'm just waiting. Right. I guess we'll wait until she gets back. There she is. Rinse that bowl out before you put anything food in it. Here. How's it go? Kitchen scissors need to go back in the kitchen. So, yeah. While we wait on that, um... I, I think the algae eater's there. These uh, tetra pleco wafers. Eh, they eventually get around to eating them. Um, for the most part, though, I thought the new chems we bought were were uh, aquion, but I guess they're not. There's flourish excel for the plants. Um, Where'd my, oh, there's my bottle of Prime. And this is Seachem Prime, also recommended by uh, a couple of people that keep tanks. Well, you just wanted to show it's fine. Yeah, good friends of mine, including you Mercy from the Here There Be Monsters. And T-Bomb. That does not look... Just frozen. Is that freezer burn? Is that ice? Ice. Okay, yeah. All right, so waiting for that chunk of frozen bloodworm to thaw before we put it in the tank. That's an awful lot. Whoop. But yeah, that's true. We do have seven frogs to feed now, so. I know. Is that the already arrived? Yeah, that's what that box is. We, we've already got them in the tank. That's why I was after you to get the stand as, you know, 
as quickly as possible. Do you need us? Do you need my help with the boards and stuff? Or? Yeah, um, I think I need your help. You have to hold one end up or slide it through the saw. Yeah, I kind of figured. They're eight foot boards. Yeah, I kind of figured that. But all right. Um, when I finish when I finish this video and we get them fed. Uh, I will go slide shoes on and come out and help you with that. But meanwhile, you can get a board down and start measuring out the cuts you need to make. You should have about 36 inches long, and I'll need. Um, I think we we decided on 36 by 15 or 16, wasn't it? Three, that, you'll get two that size out of each eight foot board. Well, three, six. Four rings, two on the end and two in the middle. Six foot out of every eight, and then you'd have two foot left. So that's another 24. Yeah, we're trying to figure out the exact dimensions. Um, my brother is building a stand to put the 20 gallon tank on, which is where all of this is going to end up once the tank is set up, so. cycled, all that. Hopefully within, you know, a couple of days here, so I'll be I'll able to uh, move them over. Uh, what I would do, honestly, is put a little bit here, and then move the bowl, and put a little bit here. Well, if you're going to start... Alright, yeah, like that. Just a little, spread it out. Because you know the fish will go crazy for it, too. They're not... It's not all melted. Yeah. Oops. Well, it's alright. The heat of the water will finish melting it. And there's enough livestock in there now that uh, that what doesn't melt and get eaten oh, they're all hungry. in the next couple of minutes, we can just dip it out with the net and, and no, dispose of it. I check on it earlier, and they all were gone. Uh, several uh, aquarium sites say that once it thaws or starts to thaw like that, don't do not refreeze it. I was not going to. So whatever they don't eat in the next couple of minutes, it's trash. No, they eat all the foggies. Um, hungry little guys. And we got <clears> more foggies. Well, so. leftover food leads to additional algae, which leads to fish. I didn't eggs. find any food when there was down okay. there. Okay. So. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. Mm -hmm. check, yes, guys. I've been doing my research. I'm, I'm still new to. Fish keeping, but. Well, she's like, hmm, hmm. Yep. Yep. George, the bigger of the algae eaters. Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, yes, yeah, zoom works. That's George. And of course, he's gonna hide. He's next to Frankie. He's down there. Frankie's in there somewhere. He's the, uh, the smaller of the two. I can tell. Which one is um, let's get past the bubblers there. Let's see. Eh, from here it's kind of hard to get a good, good shot of them. Now this little tuft of grass here is after is a it's a dwarf hair grass I believe. At least that's what Petco called it. Uh, as you can see, we keep our tank. Right around 80, which seems to suit these little guys just fine. There's one of the frogs. Two of them. Well, I, I see one in the camera lens. I'm sure there's another one there. I, oh, 
Okay, yeah, I see you now. That one's a little bloated around the belly. That means it's female. Well, no, that doesn't necessarily mean it's female, but... Smaller one. She's hi <laughs> He's hiding by the... One of the glow-in-the-dark pebbles. Yeah. They're all getting fed, and they're like... I'm hungry! It's hmm. a long trip! Yep. There, now we got a, sh got a good shot of them eating. And they chew their food. Yeah. I did not know that. I watched them. Well, I've seen them grab the food, but I didn't... You know, I wasn't close enough to see that they were actually chewing last time. Um, that is a spiralis, supposedly. Plant right there. And if anybody knows what this vine plant is... Um, I got it from the fish store because it looked healthy and it was, you know, kind of pretty and I needed something a little bigger, you know, plant-wise in the tank. So if somebody knows what that is, please let me know. Because I would like to get some more of those. Um, but I don't, without knowing exactly what it is, I don't know what to ask for. So, this, these are the the blood worms we normally give the frogs. And we usually just give them the uh, the frozen ones as a treat. This and is more protein. Just regular freshwater flakes for the rest of the fish. Um, yeah, you see up here, babe? Look at the top of the water. Yeah, I know. All that extra? It's all going to be gone. Well, all right, I'll give it 10 minutes. If it's still in there, I'm going to dip it out. Because we can't have it in there, you know, I know. rotting and I know. driving our water levels even higher. As it is, I'm probably going to have to do a, a, a water change probably today. Especially with oh, the new I frogs. Oh, I see like chowing down. No, hey, as long as they're... As long as they're eating good, you know. But I think I'll end it there. Uh, I gotta get shoes on and go help my brother, cause yeah, trying to manhandle a eight foot two by four by yourself is not fun. So, especially when you're using a table saw. <laughs> so I'll see y'all in the next one.